In this orthokeratology case, we have a patient who's getting a good refractive endpoint, but the lens is decentering inferiorly and there's central staining on the cornea. This is an arson design, and if we go into the vertical meridian, we can see that we have some excessive clearance out in the alignment zone, and this can cause some vertical decentration of the lens. And we do have about a diopter of cylinder on the cornea, but only a half diopter in the refraction, so that suggests we've got some internal astigmatism, and the way to correct the positioning of the lens is probably go to a GSIM lens, but we don't really want to have a GSIM refractive correction because then we'll have residual against the rule cylinder. So we'll make a few adjustments to try to get a better alignment fit out on the periphery without affecting the refraction too much. So the first thing we'll do is switch this lens to GSIM and We'll do that through the tools menu down here, configuration settings. So I'm going to see what the parameters are currently. 6369 and 113 diameter. So we can use the same dimensions. And looks like it's about a two and a quarter target power. And 25 and 20 for the thicknesses. The same values that you used initially should be fine. We just want to make sure the GSIM box is checked, and since we're GSIM, it's a good idea to also prison ballast the cord. So here's the new lens now in GSIM. It's not perfectly aligned on the representation of the cornea, but if we switch back to the arson lens, you can see that we do have slightly better alignment this one, and that should help with the situation. Now this lens is also going to seal off a little bit better at the back of the reverse curve and will probably mold out more of this corneal terrificity. We don't necessarily want that. So what I'm going to do is switch back to the arcing lens and see where our IP side is and we're at 768. So in the new GSIM lens, we've got a tighter fit at the back of the reverse curve, 784 versus 768 for about 60 microns additional tag with a GSIM lens. And so yeah, we don't really want that. So what we'll do is go into percent mode and lift up here. When we lift up at the IC control point, that will also affect the edge. So we'll make note of what the edge is, 1874. Pick up a couple times. A little too much.
and now we're at 768. So now at the blue control point, we have the same sagittal depth of the lens as the arson lens. Now again, this shifted the edge point, so we're going to return that back to where it was before. And I blanked a little bit, I think it was 1864, if I remember correctly, from 15 seconds ago. Of course, when you're actually making the change, probably a good idea to write down that initial number. And you'll make the same kind of adjustment just in percent mode. So basically what we have now is a lens that is similar to the Arsen initial design right here along the back of the reverse curve, but aligned with more peripheral touristy out here along the edge of the lens. And the idea is to center this lens better by fitting the touristy of the cornea without molding the touristy of the cornea. And hopefully this will get your patient to the desired result.